and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. Now, if you saw my unboxing for the Paint Gem Mini Set Rainbow Alphabet, um, you will know that I decided I wanted to kit this one up sooner rather than later. I don't have enough projects on the go, she says. Um, no, but this kit is 32, yeah, 32 different alphabet letters, uh, which are amazing and gorgeous, and I do love them. However, um, I wouldn't want to sit here and do them all as one set, uh, because I think that that could make them not as exciting and not as fun. Uh, so what I want to do, because there is only 15 colours in these, it, and therefore it will fit in my paint gem case, which is very apt, um, I want to kit these up so that I can do them over a long time. I never had um, the intention to do a long-term paint gem project until they brought this set out. Um, the only variation is, of course, the shape of them. Apart from that, they all use the same colours. Um, yeah, going to be a striking alphabet set once it's done, but I don't want to be doing them all in one or even in my sort of three tier set that I have in my little art doc drawers. Um, I don't want it to be something that in effect is done that quick. I would much rather have them kitted up and have them as sort of a takeaway project. So if me and Hobby do decide to go away for a few days at any point, I can take these with me and go and have something to do. If I'm going somewhere, an appointment or an afternoon where I know I'm gonna have some time free and be able to do some, I can grab these and go. Or maybe I can just do one if I'm like, do you know what, I'm in the mood to do one. I wanna do something bright and colorful. I can then do it then. I, I guess you get the idea. Um, so yeah, so that's what I want to do with this set. Um, so I thought the paint, the paint gem case is perfect for it. Um, I set myself a goal today. Uh, I'm actually filming this earlier than you will see it. Uh, but I set myself a goal that provided I got my heaven and earth design planning video done, I could then do this kitting up video because I am itching to kit up. Uh, I love kitting up. Right, we do have two bags of 310. Uh, so these are actually smaller pots than normal. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, I was going to start with those, but I think I'm going to start with putting the colours into pots. And then I'm going to see um, where I'm up to and if I can then fill all the other pots up uh, with the extras from the bags because ideally I want it all in here so I think for the purposes of this set sorry my stickers are pulling off the back trim in some cases I'm gonna rearrange this once I'm done I'm just gonna put the stickers on first because I have no idea if even these colours will fill this pot or not so I think we're going to play the kitting up of this one just a little bit by the seat of our pants I'm also not going to have you sit through me trimming all the canvases I will do one on video to show you guys what I'm doing, uh, but I definitely will not subject you to all of that. 
Uh, I also like to put my double-sided tape on the back of my canvases when I'm kitting up. I'm not going to subject you to that either. I haven't even grabbed like my sticker sheet and my black card out of the shop either. And I've already locked up for the day, so I'm not doing that either. But this is what I want to do, is I want to put in the colours first and let's see if they will all fit in one pot. So let me grab my No Lines Mega Tray for anything that is going to fall about and see. I'm really hoping that these colours do fit in one pot, though I do have static with this. And do you know what? With 15 colours, that doesn't seem such a bad thing. Let's grab how big is that? Is that too big? Pop in a piece of dry sheet. I've just grabbed one that was already trimmed, so I think I might use that one. I think that one might be a little bit easier. And it looks like the purple does at a push. It is a push. And I have got drills flying everywhere because of said static. Not all of them in the tray. Some of them are falling out. So it might be a squeeze, but it would nice be nice to have the rainbow colours at least fit in a pot. Okay, that's not helping because that's just the static is just sending them everywhere. Okay, damp finger it is. Slick my finger and pick them up. And that actually gets rid of the static as well. So let's get those in. Get in. Okay, are we all in? So a very, very tight squeeze for that one. But we're all in. Okay, let's move those out of the way. While we are dealing with static, let's not make our battle any harder than it needs to be. I've got bits left over from some trash bits of diamonds that are orange. I don't want to mix those up with purple. So, yeah, we do have static in the bag. So, good old arm wobble. arm wobble for us ladies. Let's get that one de-staticed a bit. Again, this one is not, I've not done a very good job. So I'm going to tip out a few and then I'm going to pop that back in and give it another go. I'm trying to get all the diamonds to touch the dryer sheet as much as they can that will help. It's the joys of resin diamonds. Joys of resin diamonds equals static. That one wasn't too bad. Okay, so that bag was 5.3 grams and this bag was 5.6 grams. So five, anything above 5.6, I might struggle. This one is less. Of course, the shapes of the letters will determine how many of each colour. So I do have a colour there that is 6 grams. We might struggle getting that into one. But we're going to see how we can do. I'm trying to decide whether, because my initial thought, okay, get out the bag and we'll deal with you from there. Uh, my initial thought was to have the letter like A and then have all of my spares, all of my extra tubs. But if I am going to have some extra tubs of colours, I think that might not be my best option. 
So once I've fought these into the pot, I might change up a bit how I'm doing it. Okay, we're in. We're in, we're in. I don't find static causes a problem when it comes to actually working on the diamond paintings, uh, which is why I'm not being major precious about popping any dryer sheets in with the diamonds. See, they're the three colours that do the outlines on all of these. Let's get that one in. This one should be fine. This one's 4.5. Again, it's just going to be a static. And that's when I get to the point where none of them are going in. And I could potentially do what I tried to do on the first purple and tip them out through the spout but I find it easier to just have this collective place, dampen my finger and pick them up like that, because it does then get rid of the static at the same time. The drying sheet's doing well, but not as well as it has done in the past. Got them all. So what I might do is change these around. F G, H, I, oh, I've got a D. <laughs> D, E, F, can't do my alphabet. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. There we go. So I'm now in alphabetical order, and then I will just use these pots for the rest, but I'm gonna start with these bags. So if I end up with a full bag of 310 stuck in the back of my pouch, then that's fine. Um, but I'm going to start by trying to get as many of these in there as I can. Where is that other piece of dryer sheet? Try using this bigger one, I think. See if it will touch a few more diamonds when I'm doing my shaky shake. So I don't know how well that's done, to be honest. Get in there. What I need is a static gun for a few hundred pounds. And to be honest, it's not worth spending that just for a couple of minutes when I'm kitting up. Just that little fight when I'm kitting up because I don't tend to fight with them when I'm diamond painting. I tend to just stick them on some glue instead and make them deal that way. Okay, next one down, 3801. This one is 5.7. What was that first one? 5.6. So we may have a problem with this one. The next one is six grams. So that one is definitely likely to go into two. Do you know what? Let's tip some out and then let's deal with the static. Oh, actually, even though this does say it weighs a little bit more, it actually seems to be a little bit less diamonds. So I think we're going to be all right on this one, which is good. The more I can get in one tub, the more tubs I have for my whites and blacks, which are definitely going to need more than one tub. Another very full one though. Be careful when opening those. Rid of my remnants, 600. 6.1, no, 6.0, sorry, the next one's 5.1. I'm confusing myself. Doesn't take much. Shake a dig a dig a dig a dig. -a -dig. 
because if I don't have enough diamond painting projects already, I like to throw myself another one in the mix because why not? Oh, am I going to fit these in? It's definitely going to be even more borderline than the purple. Static is not helping because it's sticking to my fingers. Okay, let's get them out. I might have to do one of these paintings very soon just to free up a pot, not have to label another pot up. The things we do, and I've just knocked it and knocked a load more everywhere. I say a load more, about three of them. So close though, so close to get in diamonds in the tub. I'm going to be after super careful. No doing my first one of these. Sorry, my battery went with sentence. Uh, no doing one of these on the go on say a train or anything like that. The first one might be, need to be done somewhere safe but they have all fit in. That is fit to burn. Oh she says and then there's one there. Why do I do this to myself? because it's always worth knowing if you can fit one more in. Okay, 913. These are gonna be some gorgeous colors together. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's try and get this dryer sheet in the corners, touching all those diamonds as much as I can. I already feel I've got one stuck to my finger. I oh, know two. Stuck on the side of my finger. Get those in. Uh, oh no, I've got more room than I think. And so straighten up. Oh, I nearly thought I'd got all of one colour diamond straight in a pot then, but no. Okay, nine, five, eight. Really nice gradient of diamonds going on this one, on these letters. You only do like a couple of rows of each colour. And then of course you've got the outlines and stuff in the white. Uh, with the white and the grey but I can see myself say getting bored if I was doing them all at once or not just deciding to like do one particular name um, so this is a perfect sort of very long term kit to have it's also a lot of diamond paintings with the being 32. Most kits, well, they have anything from like four to 16. So it's like two kits in one, even though they're smaller, uh, it's two kits in one individuals wise, but I do reckon they'll be quicker to do. So they could be perfect when I don't have like 30 to 45 minutes or even an hour for some paint gem mini kits. If I just have half an hour, maybe that would be a nice time to do one of these. Or as I say, just on the go, as and when. Get in. Oh. I tried to knock a couple in that were sticking to my finger and I've just managed to knock a load of them out. Okay, let so you lid on and out the way, but that didn't work either. Okay, nice bright blue. Then we have 995. Another bluey colour. I reckon I'm going to fight with the white a lot more than I'm fighting with these. But that's fine. And do you know what? I'm actually thinking, provided all these colours go in perfectly fine into the pots. I actually don't think I'm gonna to need to label up the black, white and gray. 
I could do, I could label them up with their numbers, but I don't actually think I need to because I've only got one grey and of course one black and one white. So there's not going to be any confusion between the numbers because I have such a limited amount. Uh, whereas with the blues and purples and things like that, while I don't think I would necessarily mix those up um, because they are different shades, which is why, you know, they pop so well on the letters themselves because of the different shades. I do also think that, um, you know, there's a chance if, I had two blues, for example, of accidentally running out on one pot and just grabbing the wrong one. If I'm diamond painting in like non-natural light under, you know, a lamp or something, there's more chance of me getting it wrong. Whereas with black, white and grey, should be good. Okay, so let's get some grey in. Let's undo two to start off with. Though I'm gonna need more than two actually. This has got 14.4 grams, which makes me think we managed to squeeze at a push six grams in there, which means we're gonna need three for this one. If I can do my six times math. So let's get some of these in, up to like a more nice, acceptable, reasonable level, you know, nice socially acceptable level in the pots, a little bit of breathing room, a little bit more elegant with it, and then go in with my dryer sheet when we get nearer the end. To get the last of them. Okay, I'm actually gonna pop the two full pots in there and I'm gonna use up the smaller pot first. This is also the one with the most static diamonds in it, which means it'll be also very nice to get these stuck on a canvas and out of my way. So there we go, four, one, three. Then we'll do the five, two hundred because that is the next one weight wise. Uh, so this has 24.8, so at least four, possibly another one, because uh, it is 0.8, so I reckon we may need another one. But I'm going to deal with those that just come out non-static first, just the ones that behave themselves first. Fill them up to a nice, eloquent level in the pot. There we go. That's a nice, you know, just, just by the curve. A little bit of breathing room, wiggle room. All the rest, let's put those in. And then let's actually put that top on that one. So we've got the grey and the white over here and then I'll try and put the black more that side. And now let's try and get rid of some static from the rest of them in here. Try and get them from being caught up in the dryer sheet. Okay. 
rain them all in. And then, yeah, because I've actually left quite a bit of room in the others, I've definitely filled this pot as well. Okay, bag to go. You always tend to get loads of extra diamonds with paint gems, so I did just have one uh, fly off somewhere. It's gone on holiday, uh, probably to be visit my Hoover at a later date. But that is the white, apart from, of course, one. Get in. And now it is time for the black. This one I reckon will need quite a few. So we used four before. This one has got 31.6. So that's five. I think we might need a sixth one. I thought there was less static in there, but no. Okay. Again, I'm sort of filling them up to a nice level, not worrying so much about these ones that are going all over the place. I will do a collective pot later. Quite a bit of static on those because they were sticking to my fingers more than anything else. Now I don't, ooh, don't know if these bags are split evenly. But if they are, then I may need another pot because I'm being a lot more generous because I know full well that I have lots of pots left. So what I think I might do is actually still use this one as well. So a little bit of trash showing in this bag, but not a lot considering it is a bunch of three 10, which is not always the world's most famous diamonds. They're not known for being the most pleasant of diamonds, mainly because they are so hard to quality control because of their dark colour. Okay, I'm going to go for those three. There's always something when you're doing a diamond painting, or in this case, 32 diamond paintings, that have extra color, extra pots of the same colour. There is always a nice sense of achievement when you empty a pot and move on to another one, uh, which is also why I am more than happy to actually have like seven pots of black um, because there is so much black in this I will have that nice satisfaction level that's all trash uh, that nice satisfaction level of finishing a pot of black and if I don't overfill them I get that more often. Right, let's see if we can see if we can get some of these to tip out of the tray. Now these dryer sheets have been in and out of these bags, so they may not have that much life left in them. I want to make sure I get rid of them. So that I don't try and use them on a future kit. Ah, oh, see that wasn't too bad. So now I've got a little half pot of black uh, and what I'll do when I'm done with that one is I will just switch the lids and move it over. So I've got my extra black, my extra white and my extra grey. I could actually team those two up and team those two up. I don't know which one I prefer, um, but yeah, that is my diamonds all ready to go. I will show you what I'm going to do with my canvases, um, but I won't put you through it all 
Let me see if I can find one that's a good example. Possibly this one. So these are actually cut really, really well. Um, but on the original canvas that they must have before they prep them for us, uh, can you see this thin grey line? It's, it's very, very close to where they have trimmed them. And it does actually look like they may trim them with a trimmer now and not with scissors. Um, because they're a lot straighter to the line. So can you see on that letter L, there is, they're just off the line, there's a grey line there. Uh, so when I put them on my pieces of black card for putting them in my display box, I don't like to see those grey lines. So I do like to trim up my canvases beforehand. And of course, they're too big for that one. Quite often I will just chop them quite a bit smaller. But I say these canvases are actually cut really, really well and straight. There is just the odd one. Oh, and I mucked up that, didn't I? I don't think my blade in this is very um is very nice. That's why I normally use my trimmer. Uh, but yeah, the the actual cutting of these is very neat and not every one of these needs it there is only the odd one that just needs that top part trimming off and then I think we'll be pretty good to go unless I end up catching the end of it there so I am going to cut all these off camera after saying bye to you guys because I say who needs to sit through this um, for 32 different paintings I'm just going to do this this one on here because my guillotine gives a much better finish but this is a small one so quite often I'd have to cut a bit off the bottom and the top uh, but I think that's all I'm going to do on these because I don't want to be doing all of them any more than you guys want to watch me do all of them uh, though I am looking and while they are straight I don't think they're square that is not square okay so maybe I am going to need to trim all of them because that is not a square line um, when you go on it that is in no way straight so what I might do is get my bigger guillotine trimmer and trim these all down but I do want to show you what I'm going to do after that again I'm going to do it off camera I'm trying to make sure that I can get one side straight and then I can get all the other sides straight okay so that side is actually quite straight I think it's this side that isn't. So I'm using my trimmer as like a line across the top. You see that one that I've cut off? That one is nowhere near as straight and this one isn't. What I did is I lined up, um, I lined up this actually through you can slightly see through so I lined it up on one of these lines on my trimmer to get my initial straight line according to the letter so yeah I'm going to do that off camera for each one and trim them up because it's much easier to do before you place diamonds once I've done that to them all I am then going to pop a bit of double-sided tape across the bottom and the top I find that is plenty to hold them in place so I'm going to do that so they will all be prepared like this uh, and I will store I'm not sure whether I'm going to store them all or whether I'm just going to store a few in here you know so it's ready to go and then pop the other half of them in this case and then do a switch around you know take out the ones that I've done and put back in the ones that I haven't so a bit like this this is my rainbow set 
I keep in here the piece of card that I mount them onto. I keep the plain pieces of card and my stickers to label them. And then when they're finished, I will then stick my alphabets onto my pieces of card, pop my little label on and they're ready to go in. And I find doing that bit by bit nowhere near as tedious as doing it all at once. So I'm going to do the same thing with the alphabet. Uh, I'm going to do the little bit of prep probably sat in front of the TV in a moment. I will get these all prepped, nicely trimmed and squared up. In fact, all of these. I will then pop some tape on the back. But like if I, these haven't even got double sided tape on yet and they are well, they do fit actually. I was thinking they'd take a really, you know, wouldn't let the lid close properly. So if they do all fit in, I will put them all in. Uh, but what I'll probably find is that as I've done a few, this will get fuller and fuller. So I'll take out my completed ones. I'll pop my black card in here and then I'll label them up as I go along. Uh, but I expect this to be... Let me put that one in there because that one's done. Uh, I expect this to be a much longer term project, which is fine. Uh, I, I can have as many projects as I want, people. Uh, I'll keep that in there. So, yeah, stay tuned. I may... I don't know when I'll get some of these done. I don't even know when I'll finish them. Uh, but I don't have many paint gem mini kits that are less than 30 colours. And this only comes with 30 pots. Um, I could use it for something else. There is nothing stopping me using this case for anything else. Uh, but I do love using it for paint gems. So I am a very happy bunny now this is kitted up. Even if it's going to stay kitted up like this for quite a while. Anyway, let me know. Did you guys get the rainbow alphabet or not? Was it not your thing? Um, so there are a couple of paint gem mini sets that aren't my thing. Um, I do have pretty much all of them. Um, I still like the images. They're just not as much my thing as some of the others. Um, however, this isn't top of the list. I'm actually quite looking forward to doing these. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I do have a discount code for Paint Gem down below. Um, also on our website, you can get the stickers and the front cover thing for uh, one of these A5 books for, to be able to store them in. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.